Hi, I'm Liz Marquis, Compression Product Manager from l and and we're here today with Huntley hosting an interactive study session for clinicians across the West Midlands looking at Doppler assessment and appropriate compression selection for patients with venous leg ulcers. Hi, I'm Dr John Evans, I'm a Business Unit Manager for the Vascular Products um, working at Huntley and um, we've been running workshops this afternoon uh, demonstrating the use of the products, how easy they are to be used. We've been uh, assessing um, the legs uh, for venous leg ulcers. As part of the assessment yeah, is part of uh, using a Doppler to do the ankle breaking index. Part of our study day really is to show how easy and more affordable this equipment is and to get that into the primary care sector so that the uh, patients are assessed more quickly and then straight into the compression so that we can heal those ulcers quicker. Hi, my name is Dr Leanne Atkin. I'm a vascular nurse specialist at Mid York's NHS Trust and also a lecturer practitioner at Huddersfield University. I've been here today to talk about the introduction of the best practice statement, in particular the compression therapy algorithm. There's one part of this though that I'd just like to emphasise on. It's that importance of that ABPI assessment. We know that only 16% of patients out there currently get an ABPI assessment. The ABPI is a vital part of leg ulcer assessment. It has to be done in combination with the holistic patient assessment, the assessment of the limb in terms of signs of venous disease, but that ABPI is the safety check of whether that patient's suitable for compression. Remember that an ABPI does not diagnose venous ulceration. All it does is will it help to outrule the presence of peripheral arterial disease. And that's important because putting patients with peripheral arterial disease onto compression can be contraindicated. So with the ABPI, please don't be scared of it. It's a vital part of the assessment and something that we need to be embedding into all patients' pathways because we know that the sooner the patients have that whole holistic assessment of the wound, of the limb, of the venous system and also of their arterial system, the sooner we can get those patients into appropriate compression. Thank you.